Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a counting problem. It's also like a puzzle where we have the consecutive positive integers written next to each other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth. And we are looking for the 2021st digit, counting obviously from the left to the right. All right, so in order to be able to count that, of course, we have to find a systematic way to do it. Obviously, one way to do this problem is you can list all the digits until you get to the 2021st, which is not a good idea, of course, because that's going to be super time consuming. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be considering the first nine digits, one through the nine. Obviously, each of these are single digit numbers, or we can just call them digits, right? So how many spaces do they take up? They take up nine spaces. So we have nine digits here. In other words, there are nine one-digit numbers. How about two-digit numbers? Well, to find out how many two-digit numbers are there, you start with the smallest one, and then the largest one is going to be 99. And you just need to count the number of numbers, 10 through 99. How do you do that? You subtract 99 minus 10, and then you add 1. And that is going to give you 90. So there are 90 two-digit numbers. So the numbers go like this. For one digit, you have nine numbers. For two digits, you have 90. For three, it's 900, so on and so forth. So what's the general formula? Well, here's, the, here's how it goes. If you think about it, this is like nine times 10 to the second power. This is nine times 10 to the first power. And this is nine times 10 to the power zero. So if you have an n digit number, then the number of numbers that are n digits is gonna be nine times 10 to the power n minus 1. Because in the case of 3, we have to subtract 1, and that's true for all of them. Anyways, we don't really need that much, but I just wanted to show you the general formula as well. Okay, so my next thing is going to be then to count the number of two-digit numbers. Here's the thing. I have 92 digit numbers, but they take up more than 90 spaces, because each two-digit number takes up two spaces. Therefore, this is going to be 90 times 2, or 180 digits. So when you write 9 digits and then 180 digits, that's going to make 189 digits used so far. And remember, we're trying to get to the 2021st. So you're not there yet. We used all the single digits and we used all the two-digit numbers. So the next thing is going to be the three-digit numbers. So the question is how many three-digit numbers are there? We already know the answer. There's 900 of them. And since each of them takes up three spaces, so it kind of goes like this, 100, 101, 102, dot, 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 all the way up to 999. So we're kind of listing them like this. So this is going to be 2,700 digits. But remember, we only need to get to 2,021st. So we don't need to use all the three digit numbers to get to 2,021st. But we definitely need to use the single digit numbers and the two digit numbers. Great. So let's go ahead and add up 9 plus 180. So we're going to have 190 digits. When we write all the, you know, single digits and the two digit numbers. So now we're at the end of 99. So the next number that's coming up is going to be 101. So here we have 189 digits. And I want to get to the 2021. So I want to know how many more digits do I need to fill in the space. Let's go ahead and subtract. 189 from, from 2021. That is going to be 21 plus 11, which is 32. So basically, obviously, it's not just one. Okay, great. So that is going to be um, 100, 1,832. I forget about the 2,000 part. Anyway, so that many digits we do need to get to the 2,021st. And since each number, each of these is a, a three-digit number, they're going to take up three spaces. So to find out how many three-digit numbers we need to use, let's go ahead and, so this is how many digits I need to fill in the space. Let's go ahead and divide by three to find out how many three-digit numbers I have to use because each three-digit number takes up three spaces. Okay, so now let's go ahead and divide 132 by three. But of course, I have to take the floor value because I don't really care about the remainder. Well, I do, but right not right now. It's going to be 610. So 
610 three digit numbers are going to take up they're going to take up 1380 spaces right okay so i do have to do two more but the question is if i start off with 100 and write 610 numbers right that is 610 three digit numbers what is the last digit i'm writing correct all right so well here's the thing uh, think about it uh, it's going to be 709 why let me tell you i kind of worked it backwards mentally if you subtract 709 minus 100 and add one you get 610 make sense this is 609 great so i do need to use 610 numbers 610 three digit numbers and the last number i write is going to be 709 which means the next number i'm writing is going to be 710 but remember i only have two digits that are left over right so i need to add two more and that's going to get me to this digit right here so the answer is going to be one in other words the 2000 21st digit when all the digits are written like that is going to be one and that brings us to the end of this video well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye